Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe at the end of the video. I'd really appreciate it. So, another Ameritron AL811H. I'm going to go over everything it needs. And then I'll do another video when it's completed. So, customer had a electrolytic cap short, and he... Uh, failed to check the resistors before he replaced them so he replaced the caps and he had another one fail the resistor right here was open so if you have a cap fail or you go to change the caps you always need to change the resistors if it has the pink resistors the pink ones are the ones that are more prone to failure the black ones don't fail as often but it still does happen so I when I replace them if it has the pink ones I always put new ones in if it has uh, resistor fail one of these black ones I end up upgrading the pink and the black if a black one were to fail uh, to a different one that's even better than either or so I'm going to replace all four filter caps all four resistors meter protection diode is shorted I'm going to secure the plate choke better it's not tight it has the short screw I'm sure so some of the windings are moving around, so I'll resecure them with a dab of super glue. Looks like they use the darker stuff when they, when they, you know, it looks burnt, but it's not. Uh, Ameritron, you know, MFJ, they dunk it in a solution and it holds the windings together. And looks like it's just a darker uh, substance. You know, sometimes it's darker, sometimes it's lighter. So that's okay. Straps are okay. Grids are not grounded as the grid loading resistors. I'll take this whole assembly out like I do on all the others and I'll ground the grids directly to the metal here. Also put in gas discharge tubes. I'll take out the metal oxide varistors down there. I'll do the bias modification. I'll clean the input rotary switch with deoxy gold. Has the bias diodes, so I don't have to add those. I already checked the SO239 connectors and they need replacement. It just slips right in and out. Really no tension at all. That's a big no-no. See? So, we get two brand new ones. Clean the output rotary switch, you know, the band switch with deoxic gold. And, uh, it's getting a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. So, that's about it. So, I'll be back when it's all done. I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. I almost forgot to add that I noticed that the plate blocking cap, both of them are cracked, the ceramic disc caps. A lot of people will miss this, but you can see it's compromised. Another one right here. So, I leave no stone unturned. Those will be replaced. Very, very, very thorough. Also, always check the plates on especially on the plate tune air variable capacitor fortunately a lot of people they operate their amplifiers into a not so good SDR or goes into an open and a lot of people while they're operating will use headphones so they don't hear it arcing and then before they know it the capacitor is ruined so I always check that too okay so I'll be back See you guys soon. Okay, grids have been grounded, gas discharge tubes added, and all solder joints repaired. Pretty much every single joint was a cold solder joint, so now it's good to go. Okay, so I'm back with the completed amplifier. You can see the old parts here. Filter caps, MOVs, equalization slash bleeder resistors, plate blocking caps, and SO239. So, New bleeder resistors, did the bias mod, everything soldered really well. You got the new filter caps, new per meter protection diode, new plate blocking caps. I resecured the loose windings on the plate choke. Looks dark, but it's not burnt. That's just the resin they put on it to hold the windings in place. It's, the, it's just the darker resin. Put a longer screw in the base of the plate choke. The original ones they use are very short, and the problem is it can break the threads because it's ceramic you have a lot of weight it's a heavy form 
so the threads were actually cracked at the base that's why it was moving around but with the deep screw I caught a, a bunch of threads so it's it's good to go it's not going anywhere ground of the grids you already saw that you always want to make sure these screws for the standoffs are super tight and also the screws they were like hand tight on the bottom you want to make sure those are super tight so you have a good connection between the grid and ground you know, when, when the thing has the grid loading resistors, you remove the tabs, so you want to make sure you re-secure re, uh, re the, the safety choke. It's very important you do that. So, straps are okay. I clean the, the rotary switches, deoxid gold, brand new SO239 connectors. This thing got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome company, can't say enough good stuff about them. You always want to make sure you realign the shaft properly. So... That's about it. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. I'm servicing the amplifiers you see on my YouTube. Uh, just those for now. And uh, I'm also doing the custom project. So if you need something done, feel free to give me a call. Call or text. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. 73.